The mung bean Vinya radiata, alternatively known as the green gram, marsh, or mung Sanskrit mudga, mudga, is a plant species in the legume family. The mung bean is mainly cultivated in East Asia, Southeast Asia and Indian subcontinent. It is used as an ingredient in both savory and sweet dishes. Description The mung bean is an annual vine with yellow flowers and fuzzy brown pods. The English word mung, correctly pronounced as mung, originated and used as is from the Hindi word munga, mung, which is derived from the Sanskrit word mudga, mudga. Topic: <laughs> Taxonomy Mung beans are one of many species recently moved from the genus Phaseolus to Vinya. The species is still often incorrectly cited as Phaseolus aureus or Phaseolus radiatus. Uses Mung beans are commonly used in cuisines across Asia. Whole beans and paste Whole cooked mung beans are generally prepared from dried beans by boiling until they are soft. Mung beans are light yellow in color when their skins are removed. Mung bean paste can be made by dehealing, cooking, and pulverizing the beans to a dry paste. Indian subcontinent Although whole mung beans are also occasionally used in Indian cuisine, beans without skins are more commonly used, but in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, whole mung beans called Pachai Payaru Pakai Payaru in Tamil and Cherupaya Serapaya in Malayalam are commonly boiled to make a dry preparation often served with rice gruel kanji kani. Dehulled mung beans can also be used in a similar fashion as whole beans for the purpose of making sweet soups. Mung beans in some regional cuisines of India are stripped of their outer coats to make mung dal. In Bangladesh and West Bengal the stripped and split bean is used to make soup-like dal known as moog dal. In the South Indian states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, and also in Maharashtra steamed whole beans are seasoned with spices and fresh grated coconut in a preparation called paisalu, paisalu in Telugu or USLI in Kannada or Sundal Kuntal in Tamil or USAL Usala in Marathi. In South India, especially Andhra Pradesh, batter made from ground whole moong beans including skin is used to make a variety of dosa called paisaratu or paisara dosa. Topic: <laughs> East Asia. In Chinese cuisine, whole mung beans are used to make a tang shui or dessert, otherwise literally translated sugar water called ladu tang shui, which is served either warm or chilled. In Hong Kong, dehulled mung beans and mung bean paste are made into ice cream or frozen ice pops. Mung bean paste is used as a common filling for Chinese mooncakes in East China and Taiwan. Also in China, the boiled and shelled beans are used as filling in glutinous rice dumplings eaten during the Dragon Boat Festival. The beans may also be cooked until soft, blended into a liquid, sweetened, and served as a beverage, popular in many parts of China. In Korea, skinned mung beans are soaked and ground with some water to make a thick batter. This is used as a basis for the Korean pancakes called binde tteok. Southeast Asia 
In the Philippines, ginisang monggo, sautéed mung bean stew, also known as monggo guisado or balatong, is a savory stew of whole mung beans with prawns or fish. It is traditionally served on Fridays of Lent, when the majority Roman Catholic Filipinos traditionally abstain from meat. Variants of ginisang monggo may also be made with chicken or pork. Mung bean paste is also a common filling of pastries known as hopia or bakpia popular in Indonesia, the Philippines and further afield in Guyana where it is known as black eye cake. In Indonesia, mung beans are also made into a popular dessert snack called es kaking hijau, which has the consistency of a porridge. The beans are cooked with sugar, coconut milk, and a little ginger. Topic: <inaudible> Middle East. A staple diet in some parts of the Middle East is mung beans and rice. Both are cooked together like a pilaf rice dish called marsh wa ruz which means mung beans and rice. Topic: <inaudible> Bean sprouts. Mung beans are germinated by leaving them in water for 4 hours of daytime light and spending the rest of the day in the dark. Mung bean sprouts can be grown under artificial light for four hours over the period of a week. They are usually simply called, "...bean sprouts". However, when bean sprouts are called for in recipes, it generally refers to mung bean or soybean sprouts. Mung bean sprouts are stir-fried as a Chinese vegetable accompaniment to a meal, usually with garlic, ginger, spring onions, or pieces of salted dried fish to add flavor. Uncooked bean sprouts are used in filling for Vietnamese spring rolls, as well as a garnish for pho. They are a major ingredient in a variety of Malaysian and Peranakan cuisine, including cha kwe tao, hokkien mi, mi rebus, and pasombor. In Korea, slightly cooked mung bean sprouts, called sukjunamul hangul, sujunamul are often served as a side dish. They are blanched placed into boiling water for less than a minute, immediately cooled in cold water, and mixed with sesame oil, garlic, salt, and often other ingredients. In the Philippines, mung bean sprouts are made into lumpia rolls called lumpiang tog. In India, mung bean sprouts are cooked with green chili, garlic, and other spices in the state of Gujarat. In Indonesia the food are often used as fillings like tahu isi stuffed tofu and complementary ingredient in many dishes such as rawon and soto. In northern China and Korea, soybean sprouts, called kongnamul hangul, kongnamul in Korean, are more widely used in a variety of dishes. The Blue sprouts are toxic since they contain small quantities of hydrogen cyanide, like potato sprouts do. Topic: <inaudible> Starch. <inaudible> mung bean starch, which is extracted from ground mung beans, is used to make transparent cellophane noodles, also known as bean thread noodles, bean threads. Glass noodles, fancy, fancy tung hoon, dong fen mean, bun tao, or bun tao. Cellophane noodles become soft and slippery when they are soaked in hot water. A variation of cellophane noodles, called mung bean sheets or green bean sheets, are also available. In Korea, a jelly called nokdamuk hangul, nokdamuk also called cheongpumuk hangul, cheongpumuk is made from mung bean starch. A similar jelly, colored yellow with the addition of gardenia coloring, is called huangpumuk hangul. Huangpumuk in northern China, mung bean jelly is called liangfen, liangfen meaning chilled bean jelly, which is a very popular food during summer. Jidu liangfen is another flavor of mung bean jelly food in Yunnan, in southern China. Mung batter is used to make crepes named Paisaratu in Andhra Pradesh, India and pancakes named Bindratiok in Korea. The starch content approximately 56.82%. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> History of domestication and cultivation. The mung bean was domesticated in Persia, Iran, where its progenitor, Vinya radiata subspecies sublobata, occurs wild. Carbonized mung beans have been discovered in many archaeological sites in India. Areas with early finds include the eastern zone of the Harappan civilization in modern-day Pakistan and western and northwestern India, where finds date back about 4,500 years, and South India in the modern state of Karnataka where finds date back more than 4,000 years. Some scholars, therefore, infer two separate domestications in the northwest and south of India. In South India, there is evidence for the evolution of larger seeded mung beans 3,500 to 3,000 years ago. By about 3,500 years ago mung beans were widely cultivated throughout India. Cultivated mung beans later spread from India to China and Southeast Asia. Archaeobotanical research at the site of Khao Sam Kayo in southern Thailand indicates that mung beans had arrived in Thailand by at least 2,200 years ago. <laughs> See also